What up, yo? Welcome back to the Rhino Talk Show. This is your boy B with another epic video review. So, basically, today I'm at. Let me just show you guys. As you can see, this is Zambezi Auto, that's BMW. Um, today I want to talk about something very. I want to review something very, very interesting. There was a, an. Okay, fine, you guys can see me. I'm just going to walk back if I go inside. There was an interesting uh, argument, or should I say, topic of the new X6. Uh, X7, man, sorry. So today I'm just going to do the, uh, the, 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 the review on the cars on the floor. So I'm just going to go inside. Let's just walk inside. I'm going to do an interesting review on the X7, X5, and X3. What's the difference? So, yeah. That's an N30. That's the first BM. All those BMWs. So I'm just gonna ask Lloyd to assist me. Mr. Lloyd? Oh. How are you man? This is Mr. Lloyd. Hello, hello. hello how are you? He's gonna be helping me just to review guys and show you guys what's on the what are we doing on the vlog. So basically what's interesting me is the X7. So I'm just gonna we're just gonna start from the X3 coming to the X5 and then X7. So this is as you see this is the X3. All these are 20 brand news. Brand news. Brand so that's 2019. 2019. Okay, fine. So that's the 2019, that's the X5, that was X7. So we're just gonna start with this one from the interior and inside. Just gonna go for the benefit of the guys that I knew. On the... Okay, fine. So that is the new X6, Lloyd is gonna help me. X3. That is the two liter. It's gonna sit on this side. That's how she looks. So basically this is the smallest, there's no 3 litre of this version? There is. There is a 3 litre? Right. Okay, so the, the three bigger... Diesel and a 4 litre diesel. So this... It's not a 4 litre, but it's a 3 litre diesel by turbo. By turbo. Yeah. So it's the, it's, the, it's the beast of the of the range. Oh, okay. So just for the benefit of guys, this one basically costs the startup... Uh, this one doesn't have price on it. doesn't have price on it yet. But you're probably looking at, here's the price on the back. Okay, fine, let's look at this. The price there at about 650. 650 on the two, one 1.8d okay 1.8d so this one is basically the three this one yes which is about 809 and, and, and 95 yes so it comes three liter, but this is the two liter this is the two liter oh fine so the three liter is two, two liter goes for it's about 707 707 right? so it's this one okay fine no thank but you that's excluding extras excluding extras but it comes standard with the leather yeah, yeah leather you'll have an option yes okay uh but sports pack no sunroof no just 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 that, just that. Okay, no, it's fine. So this is the X, X3 for those that don't know. The X series. But it's, I pretty much, I don't know why I like this 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 design done the, the, the first, the first, the predecessor to this one. This, um, I don't know, it looks mean. And the grill is bigger. Yeah, we've, we've focused on, on aggression. Aggression? Keeping focus. Okay. Yeah, because this one looks very good. Like, it looks mean. I can see the grill. The other grill was a bit was a bit smaller and we can okay okay let's check on this on the m on the x5 so this is the x5 guys so that one the price for that one is different to the price of this one because this is the x5 so between all the three because of Lloyd was just saying because of weight i just was, I was reading the specs this one is pretty much a little bit by half a second faster so this is the x5 so this one uh what specs are different from this one and that one if we were to say x5 and x3 a the lot. specs a lot a lot dude that's a whole new car remember <laughs> suspension is going to change okay. um body wide okay uh, the the extras on this this has got id7 the new i drive system the new one is now available on the x3 but don't know okay. well, this is pretty much a nice car it is nice what, what what is this this is carbon do we call this carbon uh this is your hexagon trim now it looks nice, eh? It looks nice. It looks nice. So out of the three, this is actually the fastest because of less weight compared to the X7. Well, it depends. Uh, look, it's not necessarily about fastest because we're uh, looking at the wrong range. Yeah. Looking at your diesels, you're not necessarily looking at uh, fastest. You look at looking at most economical, most okay. most value for for the purpose. Okay. Uh, depends on. Look, I'm not going to buy an X7. I'm saving four hundred thousand rand just buying the X5. This X5 for the same engine. Mm -hmm. The biggest difference is the amount of seats. Those are if two more people. If I don't have a family, I'm not going to buy that car. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. This is a bit, this is a bit uh, smaller, uh, small, and also uh, 
if you have if you can't have two more extra people there's no need for you by the except it's unnecessary and that is 400 more than this depending on spec, on spec. Yeah. yeah as but it is now as standard yeah. oh, okay as it is from there to here now this mm -hmm. one's about 1.4 now it's 185 uh, so it's a big difference, it's a big difference. yeah but I'm, I'm more interested in that one because more i've re did review an x an x5 on this on the, oh, but it's a pre-owned mm. but the most one is this one lloyd like this one just one because most people don't know this car like this is the is the first generation of this model yes so there's never brand been never brand new never been yeah. look how many it is i'm just gonna go around from this side so that i can show everyone so this also has the same three liter engine than that one so lloyd is gonna do the startup for me look at the grill <laughs> so let me just go inside and also ask lloyd on this one so I just want to show the people the seats at the back, Lloyd. So on this one, I'll just sit like this. So this is the six seat option. This is the six seat option. So as you see, guys, you can. I don't know how you lift this seat. It's time to sit. Let me ask Lloyd. Oh, okay. That's the. Wow. So when I. When I'm going inside, I just need to click. How how does one go? Oh, then you just jump there. Just want to show oh, people. Yeah, no, okay. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's very smart. I actually seen this for the first time. The others, you have to push. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Let me sit at the back. Ah. Ah. So this is how an X6 looks like with a seven seater. So you see, that's the difference between that one. And it's spacious. Like it is spacious if you look at the ports if you look at let's go in the front but i just want to see you guys i just want to show you guys at the back so we're gonna put this back no it'll do its thing it'll do its thing no, okay you just have to put it back and then also look at that <laughs> and this standard without anything is 1.8 like you said one point not standard standard no no as is as is yeah. one with, so that's 1.8 and then if what other extras would you want to put would you recommend people to put if they're going to buy this I dip, look, it depends on, on what you want, on yeah, your lifestyle. It really does, because this is not the motorsport package, this is the pure excellence package. So this it is depends, yeah. So we've got the air suspension on this one as an option, we've got the laser headlights as an option, we've got a head-up display as a standard, the active grills as a standard. Um, this one is based price on the 3D diesel spots on the 1.550. So this one, just for the, for the viewers to see. And then we've added about a 290,000 Rand extras. On this one? Yes, as is. As is. Okay, fine. Okay, let's just go inside. This also one. So we see how different it is to the one I was reviewing. Uh, this is a nice car. Very. <laughs> Very nice car. Wow. So this is a panoramic and also sunroof. Yes, panoramic sunroof with sky lounge. With sky lounge. Sky lounge, you'll see all the little LEDs. Which oh, there! I can actually see them. I can see them. I don't know if you guys can see them. There's, there's small, small things. So, what do you mean when you mean skylight? They actually go on. It, it, it accommodates, accommodates the the interior lighting. Hello, oh, BMW. the ambient. That, that that ambient. So this is the ambient line. Yes. Oh. Ambient lighting. It'll sit in the doors as well. Hello, BMW. Hello, BMW. Hello BMW. Hello. What can I help you with? Interior lighting blue. The light color blue with contouring in blue has been selected. So now the skylines will also have a blue interior. And that's the blue. I can actually see it changes. So that's what you call that is BMW. You don't call it C, you don't call it. No, anything. no, no, yeah. That's that's the BMW function. That's part of the live cockpit professional. It's its voice <laughs> control, yeah. So tell me something, in this range of the vehicles, does it also, when you reverse, does it also also speak to you? Right, Oh, be there now, yeah. Uh, this one, what? no, it won't speak to you. We won't speak to when you're reversing. It will have the camera. Okay, there's the camera. And so depending on your options, you'll have either surround view or just standard rear view, and then also front view. But, yeah. Wow. So you would recommend, if you've got a family, this is the BMW to buy? 
depending on how big the how family, big family is. is. If it's more than five. And also, keep in mind the budget plays a bit more. Yeah, that's very, very big. It's pointless looking at a two million rand car if my budget is 20,000 rand a month or 15,000 rand a month. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna show them the price range if you so mm -hmm. tell me on, on I saw there's a twenty seven the twenty seven thousand is when you're gonna pay for fifty five that's the BMW select offer. Okay. Ten percent deposit of the vehicle. And then okay. after the fifty five months we review the contract. We can either bring it back or we can just upgrade another. Oh okay, so just one so, and then the thirty this one is the normal one everyone. Over thirty six no no still select but over thirty six months. So basically, you can either choose to pay thirty two thousand. You can have the, the decision on anything. You can have it for thirteen months if you want. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. As long as you can manage to have to pay. It depends on what your budget just is. Just gonna go. What you do. <laughs> it's fully customizable to your needs. Okay. No. Thank you very much, Lloyd. I'm just gonna go through just to show them the price for that one and this one. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much, Lloyd. Okay. That's Lloyd Day from BMW Auto Zambia's Auto. So I'm just gonna show you the price on the X5. Look at that, guys. If you wanna choose that. For how many months? Let's just check there. Yes. So 22 or 19,000. So that's the X6, X5, 3 liter D. She looks meaner than the X7. It's gonna go to the X7 again. This is the X7. So I was just asking Chris to do the, cause I'm not, see how the price is this car, I'm not even insured for this vehicle. So what I was just doing is try to ask him to just open and show me what it is. So now that we've done the startup part, I'm just gonna see I'm just gonna try to see what you guys the difference is. If you see, it's just open here. So they use those technologies that you move the seat. So this actually works when the light when the when the key is actually out. So you can see that's the S7 interior. X7 interior. It is a very very very, very big car. And there's two seats at the back. I wanna see what's in here. Can I open this? Okay, so this is a new car, so you have to bear with me. And there's this charging cable. Uh, I don't know what you call this new cable, like this new. Uh, it is there on my phone, but the new port, it's not the. Okay, there's a one USB there, but it is the charging system. And that's the hazards. Let's see the spacing in here. So that's the ambient. Did you see this? This BMW that we that was speaking to us just right now. And then this one. If you look, what I was just saying now. There is a charger there, it's a charging port. I don't know what that is. That that what that, that does that car. I don't know because I'm actually fell forward. But this car is also very awesome. We have a secret lighter, so you can put two phones also here to charge your phone, and you can also put them here. And they want to see just at the back. Look, the seat is going back up. I don't know why. Okay, fine. So at the back there's no charging port, but you do have this. Let's see this. Oh, there is a charging port at the back. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six there, and there's front ones. This is, anyone can charge. So there's one here. There's one there. Then if I close this, and then let me close back the door, it will do itself like Chris said. Then it goes like Lloyd said. Shout out to Zambezi for this review, guys. I really want to thank them. They, I just walked in here. I just happened to walk in here just to try and see what I can review or just to see if I could build, uh, if I could ask them if I could review any vehicle. But then they said, no, come through, just review any. That's the all new 2018, 2019 BMW. And the grills are mean. Like you were saying, this, they went all out on the aggression on this car, as you can see. And the blue calipers. So that's the X7. Then it's the X6, X5. Sorry, guys. I keep on saying X5 because I also. So this one, this front console is a bit, little bit the same with that. The difference in that this one that I see from point blank. Okay, fine. Here the console is the same. You open there, like I did see there. Then I close there. And this part is the same, but the whole the whole difference comes back. Also a little bit of fear. I don't know if there is BMW in here. But also, also has um, that thing you was talking about, ambient lighting with the hand. So as you can see, the lighting day, the lighting of the car, the seam was about here. Let's go, let's just close this. Okay, fine, let's open it at the back. Is there any charging ports? Like we saw that. So that one actually looks like a family vehicle, so you didn't buy that one. But this, I did come here for the X7, but you know guys, this is the beast. This is the real thing. This is the X5. 
six point zero to hundred. This is six point five seconds to zero to hundred, and that one is seven seconds. That's all there. But just because it's got two seats more and a little bit heavier, and then this one, the two liter is that the two liter, the the the, the, the X3 is about zero to hundred is eight seconds. And it's got the daytime light and the LED, LED as you can see there. But all of them have the main grill. I'm just going to go back and check, show you guys the main grill for this vehicle. It also has a main grill. But let's just go and finish up with X3 and do justice to it. So as you can see guys, all of them have different... Okay, fine. This one doesn't look dope. It looks digital. But just looks... But like I'm saying, budget-wise, but... Just because I walked into a showroom so I would choose a car or choose any of those, also prefer because the X7, but the price range, so I'm just gonna, this one, so it's X3 there, let's see at the back. Okay, if I'm pretty much the same BMW, welcome, but no ambience, no, what's on top, oh, okay, fine, maybe a sunroof or maybe a, a panoramic roof, but yeah, at the back. So if you can see all three from here, the Prius has almost the same light at the back, but this one has the two-liter engine, and this one goes for. Let's look at the price. He said it. So this is the this is the two-liter D. So this one is a 707. For the price, I would be interested in the price. I would be interested in it for the price, guys. But if you look at it, X3 2019. X5 2019 the prices guys you paid 22,000 for this car or 19,000 or that one if you take the premium that you choose you'd pay fine I don't see where optionally but yeah let's with X X5 so you need to be moneyed for you to own this car okay. 19 and 22 you choose there but that's the mean X5 respect to this vehicle and then let's go to the the premium this one, they, they set their standard against the Vogue and there are videos on the YouTube channel or on YouTube that they actually compare these, these cars. So if you look at this, uh, it's actually the Vogue, the, the, this car went against the Range Rover and the Range Rover has taken the, this one beat the Range Rover. But however, people say Range Rover is for status and stuff like that, but I would try and go to a Range Rover uh, dealership and see the Vogue against the X6, X7. But this guy is, is very neat. But once I'm, once more again, guys, you'd pay how much? 32, 27. I don't know if I would make. I don't know if I'll ever make that in a month. But yeah, that's how. That's basically the base price for this vehicle. So guys, thank you very much for the vlog. This was a very short vlog. I, I don't unprepared. I'm, I apologize for that. I just had to do it, just to see because I was just passing through BMW. I'm like, okay, fine. Let me look at this. But guys, thank you very much. Please subscribe. The first, the first and last thing I always say, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. That's the X6, X5, and the X3. Peace out. So, guys, um, earlier on I was just reviewing. This is the final verdict of the vlog. What I think about the vehicle that I was just reviewing. I did review it X3, X5, and, and X7. What I think about the X7, it's not really ugly. My first perspective when you're coming to it was it's an ugly but then i didn't also know it was a seven seater so my after seeing that after in consideration i'm thinking okay fine it needs to be given a chance uh, it is a x7 it is a seven seater new a new vlog a, a new vogue uh, competitor because it's actually competing against the, the range rover a uh, vogue and then we look at the x5 as the sport it gets uh, interesting we can only see where it goes from here. So I'm I'm impressed about uh, of the X, X, X of the X7. Like Lloyd was just saying, he was when BMW designed those vehicles, they were meant to be mean. So me thinking, meanness, yes, check. That is a, that is a correct. Buffness, check on the X7. Different, yes. And you saw a lot of extras in the X7, guys. I am gonna look for the 2019. Vogue. I did not want to look for the Range Rover, but I am going to look for the Range Rover and I will compare them and I will tell you guys 
my vet. But for now, I am impressed with X7 in its range. So let's give its own space. Let's give the X6 its own space and give the X5 its own space. It's not an X5 Plus. It's an X7, the new first of its generation. So guys, without further ado, thank you. And if you're new to the, to, to, to the channel, please subscribe. And for more channels and for more videos and for more epic stuff coming, guys. I love you all. Peace.